A membrane module consists of the membranes, a housing, a feed inlet, a concentrate outlet, and a brake output as one unit. Membrane module might include hollow fiber, flat sheet, or tubular membranes in various designs. Membrane technology is most utilized in our daily life to transport chemical between two fractions using permeable membrane for separation of gases or liquid stream. Membrane technology has evolved into a technology with a wide range of separation capabilities. It includes not just the removal of turbidity, pollutant, and microorganisms from underground and surface water supplies, but also additional method. In this experiment, the material used to produce the membrane were polyvinyl alcohol PVA and CNC. PVA is a water soluble and biocompatible polymer produced by alkaline hydrolysis of polyvinyl acetate. PVA is a thermoplastic biopolymer made from the hydrolysis of the polyvinyl acetate processor. The action of biological microbes degrade it because of its increased crystallinity. It is extremely soluble in water. After that, in membrane manufacture, the CNC function is in ecosystem cellulose. It is the most prevalent biocompatible and renewable natural polymer. Cellulose fiber are made of or nanofiber that are further separate into armor from CNF and crystal section nanocellulose crystal. Due to the presence of hydrogen bond between the chain, cellulose material have a high stiffness and structure strength. List of material for this experiment is polyvinyl alcohol, cellulose nanocrystal, glycerol, and deionized water. The methods for this experiment is for the step one, Preparation of CNC suspension. Um, 5 gram of CNC was measured and mixed with 100 ml of deionized water with constant stirring at 45 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Step 2 Preparation of PVA solution. First, 5 gram of PVA powder was dissolved in 100 ml of distilled water at 90 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes with constant stirring until complete dissolution to obtain 5 uh, weight cells 5 weight percent of PVA solutions. Second, the PVA and glycerol was mixed with continuous stirring for 30 minutes at 90 degrees Celsius. 5% of PVA solution that prepared in step 1 was measured to 5 ml in a beaker. 1 ml of 5% glycerol was added into the mixture and keep stir until the mi mixture is fully homogeneous. Take, once the PVA glycerol PVA and glycerol solution was well dispersed. 5 ml of CNC mixture was added and keep stirred at 90 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Then, a blank sample of PVA films with glycerol was prepared by casting and no CNC is added to make it as a control sample. Step 3 is solution casting or thin film preparation. First, the mixture in step 2, um, step 3 and 4 was put into two different petri dish of 130 mm diameter or after 30 minutes of stirring. Then, the solvent was air dried for 48 hours to ensure slow evaporation of the solvent. The film can be peeled off from the petri dish and was stored carefully for further characterization. And list of instruments for characterization in this experiment is optical microscope, scanning electron microscope, tensile test and Fourier transform infrared. For optical microscopy for the PVA and uh, plus glycerol in 10 magnification, we can define the surface morphology, which is uh, related a smooth surface in 10 time magnification. And then uh, minor porosity that happen to the PVA plus glycerol and also big pore size. For next, for PVA plus glycerol and plus CNC in 10 times magnification, show the bubble surface in membrane <coughs> other than that 
type of porosity outcome that happen when add CNC to the PVA plus casserole. And last but not least, small pore size that show in the membrane surface area. Okay, the membrane was created by using a PVA and glass shell, but the difference is that the another membrane sample is with the addition of CNC. Hence, the tensile strength of these two membranes were tested and will be compared. So, in this study, the test would, was done at a speed of 3.00 mm per minute, and yes, both membranes were tested with the same test speed. Okay, the higher Young model is means that either high stress or lower strain value or both. So, basically, the higher Young monolith, the material has the stiffer it gets. So based on the results stated, membrane with CNC have higher young modulus with a value of 3,123.324 newton per square meter, compared to membrane with CNC with a value of 1.602 newton per square meter. Hence, the membrane film with CNC is much stiffer than membrane without CNC. Okay, as for the tensile elongation. It is the stretching that a material undergoes as it is put in tension. So it is used in conjunction with stress, strain, and strain values to help determine the mechanical properties of a material when performing tensile tests. So a high tensile elongation is indicated as as a soft and ductile material. But if its tensile elongation is nearly zero, then the material is most likely hard and extremely brittle. So, as we can see in the result, the innovation break of membrane with CNC is lower at 13.339 mm compared to membrane without CNC that is 21.509 mm, which is much longer than membrane with CNC. Hence, the membrane without CNC is most likely have a harder and higher brittle than the one with CNC. Okay, as for the breaking stress of a material can be defined as the maximum amount of a stencil stress that material can withstand before failure, such as breaking or permanent deformation. So the tensile strength specifies this point at which a material goes from elastic to plastic deformation. So in comparison of these two membranes, we can see that the stress break of membrane with without CNC is lower at 0 0.579 uh, newton per square meter which it can be concluded that membrane with CNC have a better stress break point at 0 0.581 newton per square meter From the NCM analysis, it shows that PPA and cholesterol has smooth surface uh, surface in medication of 30 times uh, times by increasing the medication PBA and glycerol film from 30, 30 times to 200 times uh, shows so many pores. non crystal interaction uh, become dominant over the non crystal and metric interaction. PBA glycerol shows the surface that have um, pores in 200 magnesium while PBA glycerol and CNC shows the surface that have bubbles. By increasing the medication PVA cancer and CNC from 30 times to 200 times, make us see that the clear characteristic uh, where, where it has bubbled and seen, seen and seems like a viper. Based on our FTIR analysis, we can identify that there are more than 5 absorption peaks which explains that the samples tested during our experiments is not categorized as a simple chemical. The peak shown in the graph shows a single bond area and at these regions we can identify a broad absorption band which indicate that there is a hydrogen bond in the tested samples. A sharp bond was also identified at wavelength of 3263.52 in the first graph and 3277.33 in the second graph indicating that an oxygen related bonding found in the tested samples. There are no other absorption peaks identified around wavelength of 3000 to 3200 which indicates that there is no aromatic structures found in the tested samples. Besides that, 
Normal absorption peaks were found around wavelength 2700 to 2800, indicating that aldehyde is not present in the tested samples. Based on the graphs, we can also identify that there is no triple bond region found in the tested samples, which is around the wavelength of 2000 to 2500. This indicates that there are no triple carbon bond detected in the tested samples. At wavelength of about 1600, no sharp absorption peaks were shown, indicating that there are no double carbon bond found in the tested samples. The functional groups found in the tested samples include inorganic phosphates, aliphatic primary amides, aliphatic hydrocarbons, and primary aliphatic alcohols. Membrane-based separation method have seen a lot of use in industry in the last few decades. However, concentration and temperature polarization, high energy consumption due to membrane impurities, limited productivity and short membrane lifespan remain to be significant technology obstacle to the commercialization of most liquid separation membrane technologies. Although effort to improve member module design should start with a better knowledge of mass transfer. This review summarized previous study of mass transfer model related to both shark and tube section. Fleet diminished to form of member performance enhancement were discussed based on the mass transfer study. The main strategy is to design and develop efficient module with flow geometries that minimize undesirable concentration, polarization, temperature polarization, and falling. Another approach is to employ external energy to generate high shear, which it may seen and reduce the thickness of the concentration or temperature boundary layer on the membrane surface. So most of the concepts introduced here have yet to be manufactured and some commercial applications have yet to achieve their full potential. Effort to design new modules should start with a deeper knowledge of mass transport in the mem membrane module.